In the last lesson on trig integrals, we looked at odd powers of tangent and even powers of secant. I just want to make a quick supplementary lesson where we're going to do just these two integrals. So I would like to integrate an even power of tangent, notably tangent squared, and an odd power of secant, which is just going to be secant itself. Each of these is kind of a neat little integral to do, so I think these are fun. The first one is just going to involve taking tangent squared and replacing it using the Pythagorean identity. So in particular, we can say that tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that integrand as the square of the secant function minus 1. Now, each of these is actually ready to anti-differentiate because I know that the antiderivative of secant squared is just tangent. And the antiderivative of 1 is x. So the antiderivative of tangent squared is tangent x minus x plus a constant. Integrating secant of x requires a little trick. So here's what I'm going to do is... Uh, take this integrand, secant of x, and I'm going to multiply it by a fancy version of the number 1. So let me kind of give myself some room here. I'm going to bring that dx back in. But until I do, let me multiply secant x times the quantity secant x plus tangent x divided by itself. Okay, the reason why we're going to do that is look what's going to happen now if I multiply secant into this numerator, we're going to get secant squared plus secant tangent. And that actually sounds like a pair of derivatives. So let me go ahead and rewrite this whole expression now. This is going to be the integral of secant squared plus secant tangent. divided by this numerator, secant plus tangent. Yeah. Okay. What the numerator looks like is the derivative of tangent plus the derivative of secant. And that's exactly the pair of functions that we have down here in our denominator. So this is a really neat trick where we're going to do a u substitution now and let u equal this denominator. So we'll say u is secant x plus tangent x. And then when we do that, du is going to be secant tangent plus secant squared, or in other words, it's our numerator. So with this u substitution, our integral is going to simplify greatly from this large expression to just du over u, or 1 over u du. And now this is something that we can immediately anti-differentiate with a natural log function. So it's going to be natural log of the absolute value of u. And let me go ahead and put in our expression for u so that the antiderivative of secant is natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus the constant of integration. Okay, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you these two quick exercises.